During the flight to London, attempt to learn as much as possible from Dr. Schenker about his research. Schenker is a notoriously cautious man, so direct questions are not advised. He is also reported to have little tolerance for skeptics. Try to keep an open mind. Okay. So probably you want to choose the correct option. This is your captain speaking. We have reached a cruising altitude of 24,000 feet and will soon be leaving German airspace. I've turned off the seat belt and no smoking signs. Feel free to move about the cabin. We'll be arriving in London at approximately 6.15 p.m. local time. The temperature is currently 25 degrees centigrade with clear skies. I think we can expect a lovely, relaxing flight. Yeah. Proper option. Okay, we can't ask him directly what he's doing. Let's ask about his wife. What about your wife? Will she be joining you in England? Say a stop. For Sayara. Pardon me, I must get used to speaking English. My wife died two years ago. My condolences, Doctor. I wasn't aware. There's no mention of her demise in our files. It was not made public. There was an accident at the laboratory during an experiment. She was killed. You are familiar with my line of research? No, but it must be fascinating. Quite so. I am... I was the head of the biological explosives research team. Biological explosives? Sounds rather outlandish, frankly. Perhaps, but also very real and very dangerous. Imagine an undetectable chemical reagent which can be injected into a living host. The reagent causes a reaction in the organism that culminates in a massive explosion that feeds on organic material. In other words, the effective range of the weapon is dictated by the amount of catalyst in the reagent and the population density at ground zero. In a city, the death toll could be tens of thousands. The speed of the reaction can be controlled with great accuracy by the chemical composition of the reagent. Okay. Human time bombs. Quite so. Um, it would be a terrorist's dream come true, but surely it would never work. If I had thought this you too, it wouldn't work, and my wife would still be alive. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Yes, sir. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. Communications. Get up, ladies. We're going aboard. What is loss? I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Investigator. Keep this door locked. Look, really, we're going to catch you. It's only a matter of moments now. Let's cut, yeah, let's cut. Do the polite thing, won't you? Come out. Some kind of... Okay. This like kind of timing when it will arrive. I love this door. Just the way. What to go then? Hey, mirror. Hello, mirror. Hello, Katie Archer. How are you? Ah, HK is transferring me to Cairo. See you next week. So somebody, Julie, I don't know who is. Hey. Oh. We've 
got you. Ah! This is like a conference area. An artist there. Hello, pilot. So much for Can a lovely, relaxing job, flight. Sleep tight, Lassie. You're not going to kill her? What if she wakes up? Now look here, you. I'm not going to butcher a fellow countryman without a specific grudge. If she wakes up, she can fend for herself. If she dies, then she ain't really a Scot, so I won't feel bad. Now, go get that doctor fella and do a final sweep. Take anything that looks important. Papers, files, whiskey, whatever. Yes, sir. Something's not right. All right, let's go. But some of our men are still aboard. Listen to you crying like a wee girl. They'll have to make do, won't they? Yeah. Ah! Oh. They're going to die, they are asking for parachute for her Make sure she doesn't mind her feet. Ooh, jinx spawn level. A kind of should be coming sail slow. Yeah. For like a bird, how can I shoot you? Go away to me. Ah, go away. I want to plug the parachute from the below guy.